<clears throat> I think you need to be a little lower. Just a little bit. A little bit. He's not tuning up, is he? You can't yeah. do that in the air. It gets in two, man. That's it, babe. It's four strings, eh? That's good. Want it, mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. Here we go. One, two, uh, one. When I want to know, I turn on my favorite Oriental for what's going on in the world. Don't give me sports reports or song field, cause they both make me mental. I need to see my Chinese news girl. Get her on, get it on, get her on. Get her on, get it on, get her on. Oh, get her on. I don't want Charlie Chan or Bruce Lee or Dr. Thomas Noguchi. Just give me kind of tongue on the news. Drives me wild when she smiles in her tight silk kimono by Gucci. Just, just give me kitty tongue on the news. Uh, here we go. Get her on, kitty tongue, get her on. Now teach and chum, kitty tongue, get her on. Hey, we're rocking now, man. You know I hate it so when Ernie Anastas gets it so pushy. Just give me kitty tongue on the news. Right, you know, right. She's not like Connie Chung because Connie doesn't smell like sushi. <laughs> she gives me sweet and sour news. Ow! We're rocking now. Here's the big finale. Get her on, Connie Chung. Get her on. <laughs> now she's in Chung. Connie Chung. Get her on. Get her on, Connie Chung. Get her on. Somebody light some candles. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That Wonderful was piece of writing there. Uh, nice guitar. Man. That big Fred Norris <laughs> nice on that guitar, Fred. guitar and writing. Wasn't that beautiful, Gary? It was excellent. excellent. I might release that as a single. I hope we have that on tape. I hope so, Gary. <laughs> right. It was live. Yeah, it was beautiful. E even as we speak. Yeah, e yeah was really this beautiful. is it. Hey, can we break for a few words and play some stuff from your uh, record? By and, all uh, means. You know, I don't want to hang you up, Robert. How long do you have to hang out with us? Yeah, how long you got? Well, I had nothing else to do in this afternoon. <laughs> Super. A busy man. Now, oh, listen, I'm not your agent or anything, but you always say you have something else yeah. to do. Even oh, when you, you got do. nothing oh, to do. Oh, 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 well, he's gone out of the room. He, he would have jumped in at that yeah, point. Yeah, you're supposed you know, to say. Oh, yeah, you're going to be there. Oh, yeah, yeah we got it. We got it. Busy, 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 busy. We got all bundled. We got a recording session. Uh, right. You know. Oh, I have this evening. I'm thinking of doing a song with Tina Turner. No, no, no. You're no, going to no, do a song no, with Tina Turner? No, no, Everybody no, else has. No, I'm not doing it. Uh, um, Won't do that? No, 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 no. Chuck or come. Chuck or come. Oh, yeah, Chuck That's right. Chaka Khan. The real thing. Yeah, because you know Chaka Khan. I do. You must know a lot of slow. I tell you what, let's play some commercial words. We'll come back and uh, talk about Chaka Khan, your career, and some of your new music. All right. All right. K-Rock is out to expose the best undiscovered rock and roll in the tri-state area. The K-Rock. Or we could do it as Out of the Closet Stern in Blackswell. But the audience seems to feel it's funnier as Out of the Closet Stern in Blackswell. Yeah, that was the. I thought we were going to try doing it both ways, and that way we could be covered. We could uh, listen to it. Yeah. I think we should take every other line. Yeah. I was out of the closet during sure. Blackstone. Yeah, see how it sounds. And then sing the chorus together. Yeah. You can jump in too. Yeah. Although a woman jumping in on a homo song. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can dig that. <laughs> But you do a good harmony, so... Well, I'll see. I'll see at the chorus. See if the mood grabs you. Yeah. It'd be marvelous. Here we go. I've been wild... Take it easy. Wait for it, Carl. Right, here we go. Wait for it, please. This is our band, Pig Vomit, by the way. They're really good. Sound good. Yeah, this is a great track. 
I've been worried There we go. About catching the V. First came fifth left. Then, then came clap and VD. Picked up the daily news. And what did I see? A brand new virus was coming after me. What about club? Do you really want to kiss that thing? Yes. What about glass? Till the blood test to come back. <laughs> what about glass? There's questions you should be asking. Like why, why are there purple, purple welts on his chin? <laughs> oh. Seems kind of slow to me. Yeah. Hold on. You need a little more pep. Isn't it slow? It does. It's sort of like... Like, uh, up, like a dirge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. Yeah, we'll think of that. Just hit. Just hit that thing. It's on. It's on. No, you have to, you have to reset. There you go. Oh, this is more snappy. They make it even faster. There's no powder. There's no ointment or salve to protect you oh, of that the sex that you know. What about gloves? Do you really want to kiss that thing? What about gloves? Until the blood test do come back. What about gloves? There's questions you should be asking. Like why are there purple welts on his chin? Kissing any strangers you meet, don't be sitting on dirty toilet seats. If you don't want to end up flat on your back, you'd better stay off your knees. If you don't want to get the disease, what about gloves? Or do you really want to kiss that thing? What about gloves? Till the blood test do come back. What about gloves? Or else you just can use your hand. Oh, 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 yeah. What about gloves? What about gloves? Do you really want to kiss that thing? Oh, my goodness. You some chap. What about gloves? Till the blood test do come back. Separate positive or negative. What about gloves? Or else you can just use your hand. You got a Playtex living glove oh, like a borrow. Oh, what about gloves? Oh, what about those gloves? What about gloves? Oh, you're not supposed to put it on your head. What about gloves? Do you really? I said, do you really want to kiss that bag? Is that a sore eye thing? What about gloves? Till the blood test do come back. Oh, my. I think this is going to work real yeah. good. I even sang kind of on K, didn't I? Yes, you were very good. Thank you. Which makes me, leads me to think... That the two of you should sing it together all the time rather yeah. than alternating. Yeah, maybe. See how the audience likes it. We really didn't get through the whole thing either. No, because we had that, uh, it but sounded bad. What happened with the first, what, that was slow. Yeah, well, we just speeded it up. We can change the speed. That's our band, by the way, Pig Vomit. They sound wonderful as usual. Johnny, Tim Curtin, Frank, Rat, Rat and Dead Man. Dead Man, yeah. <laughs> Real good band. And they, and they tour with us wherever we go. <laughs> Those guys are real good. Excellent. They do bar mitzvahs and weddings also. Yes, yes. Pig vomit. Call them. <laughs> anyway, it's 8 past 5 o'clock. Uh-oh. How'd you like that? Howard, I thought it was fabulous. I thought the band was fabulous, too. Yeah, they yeah, do a real good job. I think you and Freddie should sing it together. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's the way we'll do it. All right, Hal. Thanks, babe. How'd you like that? Hello. How'd you like that? Um, yeah, I liked it, but I liked it slow, um, the way you did it the first time, slow. Interesting. 
You want it more like the original? Um, I don't know whether that was the original. I just yeah, know that today, when you sang it slow, somehow it seemed to me that the characters came through more clearly. Mm, good point. Yes. Yeah, I got more of a feeling of each of the characters, and I found it funnier. Well, we'll go into the studio and record it tomorrow. Are we going to be able to do that? Yeah. Yes, tomorrow should be no problem. Tomorrow should be no problem? Tomorrow you're on Are the sheet. On the sheet? <laughs> Are we on the sheet? Put us on the sheet so we can get in there. Yes. <laughs> Give me the sheet. Hey, man. Give me that sheet. I'll sign up. <laughs> 12. 12 o'clock. Super. Thank, uh, thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. All right. How'd you like that? Howard. Yeah. Great. Great? Super. Yeah, it's gonna be. We might even have to include it in our live club day. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was really good. The band was dynamite, also. Yeah, they're good. They're Listen, good. Listen, I heard you talking yesterday about this guy with the pizza place. Yeah. I have a pizza place also on Long Island, but well, it's kosher pizza. Super. You ever hear a place called Hunkies? Now we have. Now he gets the plug in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a five hundred dollar plug, sir. What's that? That's a five hundred dollar plug. Sorry about that, Howard. I won't. I'll stay off the subject. Listen, Jews, we love having you back on the air again. Jews should not make pizza, pal. No. Jews should not make pizza. You've got to try a slice sometime. All right. I had an Italian teach me. Okay, babe. Happened to be the greatest. How do you make kosher pizza, man? Yeah, the brand of mozzarella cheese uh -huh. is a kosher brand. Jews are too nutty with the eating habits thing already. It's getting kind of crazy when you can't even have a slice of good pizza. You've got to have some, some nutty Jewish guy making you special pizza. I have no sausage, no pepperoni. You know what yeah. falafel is? Yeah. You ever have a falafel? Yeah, it tastes like cardboard. Well, it depends who's making it, I guess. I mean, if you're going to eat a pizza, I mean, why eat a kosher? I never understood Jews well, who were kosher. Well, there's something about well, you have pizza to understand that's not Orthodox kosher. Jews. Yeah. I don't well, know if you, do you know any Orthodox Jews. See, Jews aren't allowed to eat milk and meat. So if you just don't right, put together. any pepperoni on any pizza, yeah, you have you're not kosher allowed to pizza. eat the two together at the same time. What? So what they do is either they're eating meat or they're eating dairy food. I'll send you a free pie. How's that? Hey, sir, calm down, all right? Okay. Really, you're yelling into your phone. You get, you're going to give people the impression that all the Jews are pushy, and they're not. <laughs> it's just you and Barbara Streisand. <laughs> uh, she's all right. So, see, yeah, what, what, a what lot of Jews I know... You're Jewish. Half Jewish. Half Jews, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I never got into the kosher thing, man. It's just too, it's just too retarded for words, because God set up kosher... Right. Because at the time, people were so unclean that he had to set up special laws because people didn't even, like, wash their, wash their right. under, under parts, oh, okay. their private parts back there was then. There no such thing as the Department of Agriculture, you know, that inspected the meat at one time. Right. Well, so they... what happened is God was angry because people, Jewish people and all people weren't inspecting their private parts. No, I'm being serious about well, this. This is why the circumcision deal exactly. came along. Exactly. Okay. And then he said, even the foods you're eating is disgusting. So what he did was he separated the milk from the meat because uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't hygienic. But today it's hygienic. I mean, you can't eat pork because at the time people used to get trichinosis, mm -hmm. and it proved to be useful. But now it doesn't make any sense. I even know some people who even have separate sinks that won't even wash their dishes in the same sink. That's too nutty for me. A lot of my customers are that way, Howard. Almost 90% of my customers are that way. And then they have special rabbis who bless the food and make sure that it's kosher. Correct. Yeah, I, I love the, the kosher Coke. And yeah. then you have this whole shtick with clothes in on Shabbos and all the holidays and everything else. Yeah, it's too nutty for me, man. Well, well that's, I couldn't it, understand. You know, look, it's a business to me. It's a living. The same thing that you, you're you doing. Shh, calm down, sir. I understand. It's just you're, you're playing off people's fears. People are afraid that God is going to punish them if they don't eat all that junk. But if you're going to have a pizza, for God's sake, you could eat a regular pizza. I don't think I don't think God will be upset with you. I can tell you right now, God will not be upset with you if you eat a regular pizza. I agree with you. You know? I agree with you 100%. I'm just trying to make a living, though. No, I'm not trying to put you out of business or anything. It's just that to the Jewish people out there, you can eat regular pizza. It's okay. Well, do you think you have any Orthodox listeners? Sure. Yes. I'm sure we do, but I'm telling them it's okay. So it's they, all right to change. I have to tell you this, though. They come into my store and hear you on the radio, and a lot of them really get down on you. Who cares? I, I, I agree, you know, and I tell them if they listen to what you're saying rather than some of the things that you get down on about, that they would have learned to appreciate you a lot more for what you are and what you say. But they got reformed temples now where you can, um, it's like going to church. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. The That's for thing. Jews who want to pass... I almost want to be Christian, so they go to Reformed temples where 
It's but, practically like pictures of Jesus hanging up in the walls. Let me ask you something. Is there something yeah. about a choir? Yeah, like Hold on, sir. Robin's talking. What? Because I, I have heard is there supposed to not be a choir in the in temple. Or what you're saying. Yeah, Robin. See if you can press down line seven. Let's see how that works. I can't hear her. Hold on. Because this is getting too nutty. The listeners can't hear you. Now, see, I told you this wouldn't work. I got Janelle Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds too bizarre. What do you got that on, nine? Lower it. I don't, I, it's not going to work, no. Howard. They got some crack engineers over here. Yeah, I lost Howard. I yeah. told you that wouldn't work. Yeah, anyway, bad idea. Howard? Yeah? Listen, I have to go. I have customers. However, yeah, my good. thing it's, is, it's great having you back on the air. You're doing a great job, Howard. Thanks, babe. My customers love listening to you when they walk into the store. All right, yeah. shut up. Take care. I'll see you. Bye. Good night. A nice guy, but real pushy. No, but I, see, I'm trying to get this straight. Now you were, you know, we were talking about the Reform Temple. Yeah. Now I understand. Is there something about not having a choir in temple? No, you can have a choir, but it's awfully Christian sounding. But all the Reform Temples now have choirs, yes, like organs and stuff. I heard about that, and I didn't know what exactly they were yeah. talking about. The other thing I did, I, when I heard the cheeseburgers were non-kosher, I was like shocked, you know. What do you mean? You can't eat a cheeseburger? No, because it's uh, it's cheese, which is milk uh -huh. and meat. But I don't understand that. Why can't you eat meat and milk? I mean, what would happen to you? I can't honestly believe God would be angry with you. Hell, I mean, I can think of a lot of things God would... I, I mean, I could see masturbation ten times higher up on the list than eating meat with milk. Or having sex with another man. I mean, if you think of all the list of things that people are doing today, I don't think by the time God gets to you punishing you for meat for and eating. milk, you know, I think you're going to be pretty low on his priorities. Honest to God. I think you can go out and eat a normal pizza. You don't have to go to that, that uh, retard's uh, kosher pizza place. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh boy! You know, I you know I'm not a rabbi or anything, but I think it's okay. I don't think God's really going to be that upset. I mean, I got nutty friends who sit and have separate sinks. They have separate sinks installed in their house because they can't touch and dishes that have meat on them and then had milk on them. And five sets of dishes. That's yeah, right. yeah. You know, and I don't really think God's going to punish you. And how do you make Coca-Cola kosher? If I told you, you'd be sick. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> You ought to tell us. It it includes the sexual juices of a chicken. Oh no! It's true. No 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 no. I it swear. does not. Does it? No, I don't know how they make Coca Cola kosher. I mean, I can't imagine what's in Coca Cola that wouldn't be kosher. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of <laughs> what's in there. <laughs> I think what it is is a rabbi blesses the can, which is a good oh. scam. I mean, because the rabbis can, you know, they get paid. They right? get paid some yeah. some bucks, but it just seems to me just. You could eat regular pizza, <laughs> and you can eat. You could drink a glass of milk and then have a hamburger. It's cool. It is. I just can't see God sitting and worried. I can't see God killing you over that. <laughs> Especially when you got guys like uh, you know Bernard Lagaros, yeah, cutting open people's chests and eating their hearts. Oh. I mean, I don't think uh, I don't think you're gonna be high on the priority list. Yeah, I, I don't think that's kosher. I think yeah. that God would get upset. Yeah, about I think that. God will send you straight to hell for that. Did he have milk with that? Yeah. No, he didn't have milk with that. He is kosher. And that's okay. Yeah. If you have milk, when, you, when you're eating Ives Silvestri's heart, make sure you don't drink some milk with it. When you're opening up his chest and eating out his heart. Yeah. That would, actually, that would be non-kosher. I could have had a V8. <laughs> anyway, what do we have? Commercial? I don't even know where we are in the show. I don't show. either. We're lost. Plastic works. Plastic works good. I love to talk about Gary Strong. He's a very nice man. And not only that, he has one of the most interesting stores around. Today, Gary has sent over the greatest Christmas gift. This is fabulous. It's inexpensive. It's a great gift for your boss or people you work with or even for your, uh, well, I don't know, anybody who has a desk. It's a Lucite desk and pen set. No, pen and, what do you call these? Lucite pen and... It's a, I call them desk sets. Desk sets. Yes. I don't know what you call them, but I've, I've never had one because they always look so cheap. And this thing is really classy looking. Yeah. Gary, seriously, isn't this nice? Yeah, boss. Yeah, boss. Is good. Oh, really? Isn't that nice? It's got your name on it. It's got a clock on it. I might get you one of these for uh, Christmas, your gift. Yeah, I can put it on my desk. I don't think we could fit Della Bate on the uh, <laughs> Yeah, on the you loose couldn't side. get your whole name on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just <laughs> Gary D. <laughs> we don't want it. No. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. This is a, a Lucite desk set. A and pen holder. Yeah, it's got my name on it. It's got a classy pen in it. Is this a cross pen? Is it? It's a beautiful pen. It's a nice pen. And then it has a um, a quartz clock attached Digital. to it. 
I mean, that is really nice, and I'm really going to use it. An analog clock. Okay. Yeah, real nice. And that's over Anything at Plastic Works. Anything with your boss's name. Yeah, I wonder if they make uh, Virgin Marys over a plas Lucite Virgin Marys for Gary. Hmm. For his dashboard of his new Camaro. I'm sure we could commission them to do something like Grand that. Grand Am, boss. Grand Am. Grand Am, excuse me. <laughs> is that what you're getting? Grand Am? <laughs> Is yeah. that what everyone in Uniondale drives? No, no, it's a new car. Pontiac just came out with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Well, he wants around. to be the first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think start a new trend. It's not a Grand Prix. It's a Grand Am. It's the first yeah. year they make it, I think. Oh. It's a Uniondale Cadillac. Yeah. We, it's a van. So, we can get him that. Yeah. If, if Gary uh, Struten can make a Lucite uh, Virgin Mary. Or a Lucite uh, dog for the back of his car. Yeah, maybe he has one of those those pets that you can put in the back window. A Lucite head. bobbing head dog <laughs> with his tongue wagging. A Lucite tongue wagging. We're just trying to decorate Gary's car. That's all. Hmm. But that's the kind of uh, gift right there that you can get your boss, and every time he looks at it, he'll think of you fondly. He really will. Maybe even fondle you. <laughs> How about uh, serving trays? The place that works and personalized with your name or initials. A calculator clipboard with your boss's name engraved on it. Um, for your loved ones, don't get perfume. Why not give them a special memento in a clear loose light box? you got to go oh, over there and yeah. just see the sculptures that they have. It's uh, interesting stuff. Call Plastic Works at 212-822-1166. Five stores in New Rochelle, Manhattan, East and West Side, Forest Hills, and Cedarhurst. Look at your watch. If your nose were stuffed right this minute and you sprayed with Duration Nasal Spray, it would already be going to work on your congestion. In fact, no other nasal spray starts to work faster, and Duration Relief will continue for up to 12 hours with the longest-lasting nasal decongestant you can buy. So if you want a nasal spray that works fast and long, it's time you changed to Duration. Duration Nasal Spray. Use only as directed. Thanks for helping me carry all these packages, Mervyn. They must weigh a ton. Uh, no problem. But where are all your packages? I did my shopping at my FTD florist. Oh. I sent the special people on my list a candle glow bouquet. What a thoughtful gift. It's filled with greens, flowers, a glass chimney, and a candle. But how did you carry them all? <laughs> I didn't. My FTD florist had them delivered all over the country. Maybe I should send a candle glow bouquet. Then I won't, uh, I mean, you won't have to struggle with all these packages. Good idea. Light, super premium taste, and a less filling beer. Who says you can't have it all? Who says you can't work for somebody and live for you? Who says you can't have it all and love it too? Make the most light, oh yes, you can have it all. Oh yes, you can have it all. Dan Heiser Bush, the world's gentlemen. It's time for a little self-indulgence. And Saks Fifth Avenue is going to show you how. Starting today, we're going to dress you in so much more for so much less. 20 to 30 percent less, to be exact. On American classics, European inspiration, suits, sportswear, coats, the tried and true, the avant-garde. And 20 to 30 percent off original prices on all of it. Saks Fifth Avenue's men's clothing sale. Now, less is truly more. And I suggest more We're vegetables. behind the scenes at Campbell's to see how they've improved their vegetable beef soup. And bigger pieces of potatoes, tasty carrots, and green beans. Great for vitamin A. I've experimented with fresh onions. Oh, they're delicious. Don't forget the richer beef flavor. Now the ultimate test, the new vegetable beef soup. Who wants a taste?